Is it time to buy or sell Reddit stock? In this video, we will explore Reddit in depth. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, the 30th of October, 2024, and now we are here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analyses. You won't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any one of 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. As of October 2nd, 2024, our system has classified Reddit as a hold or accumulate, assigning it a score of zero. Now, let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. Throughout this period, the stock has exceeded our expectations, achieving a gain of 71.22% since we first recommended purchasing Reddit 21 days ago. This equates to an average return of 3.39% per day since it was categorized as hold or accumulate. A score of zero indicates that our system predicts significant volatility and risk for the upcoming trading day. In light of the recent developments, we cannot ascertain the stock's next direction, as it could move in either direction. The current three-month trend indicates a potential change of approximately 36.91% over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from negative 6.17% to 36.91%. Our latest daily update for Reddit includes the headline, Volatile Ride for Reddit Inc. Stock Price on Wednesday, Moving Between $104.16 and $118.25. The Reddit Inc. Stock Price gained 41.97% on the last trading day Wednesday, the 30th of October, 2024, rising from $81.74 to $116.05. During this trading day, the stock fluctuated 13.53%, with a low of $104.16 and a high of $118.25. The price has increased in six of the last 10 days and is up by 50.21% over the past two weeks. There was an increase in trading volume on the last day, which is a positive technical indicator, with 30 million more shares traded than the previous day. In total, 37 million shares were exchanged for approximately $4.31 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $118.25, while the lowest price was $37.35. Currently, the price stands 1.86%, or $2.20, below the 52-week high of $118.25, which is also the all-time high for the stock. Reddit stock, trading under the symbol RDT, surged over 30% today, following a robust third-quarter earnings report that exceeded analyst expectations marking it as one of the company's best days since its initial public offering. The recent results showcased a significant 68% year-over-year increase in revenue and a remarkable 47% jump in daily active users. This momentum has sparked a flurry of analysts raising their price targets, with Bank of America adjusting its forecast from $84 to $99, underscoring the strength of Reddit's advertising revenue growth despite a dip in data revenue. Additionally, Reddit's strategic decision to sell the majority of its cryptocurrency portfolio yielded $6,900,000 in proceeds this quarter. The company's profitability, highlighted by its first quarterly profit as a public entity, signals a promising future. With an upbeat fourth quarter outlook and plans to expand beyond English-speaking markets, Reddit is well-positioned to capitalize on untapped international revenue streams. In the short term, this positive sentiment could attract more investors, propelling the stock price further upward. 
Long-term, Reddit's strategy to enhance its user base and revenue through international markets and advertising could establish it as a formidable player in the social media landscape, potentially leading to sustained stock appreciation. Overall, today's developments reflect a significant turning point for Reddit, paving the way for future growth and investor confidence. Analyst Ratings On Wednesday, the 30th of October, 2024, it was reported that JMP Securities assigned RDT a market outperform rating accompanied by a hold action. On the same day, Needham also rated RDT with a buy grade and a hold action. Additionally, Roth Capital provided RDT with a buy grade and a hold action. Loop Capital Markets followed suit, granting RDT a buy grade along with a hold action. Lastly, Piper Sandler rated RDDT as overweight with a hold action on the same day. Analysts have assigned a general sell rating to Reddit's stock. They have categorized the price-to-earnings ratio as a strong sell and the price-to-book ratio as strong sell as well. However, for return on investment, the analysts have issued a buy rating for the stock. The following signals have been identified for Reddit. The stock of Reddit Inc. is currently showing buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a positive outlook for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal stemming from the relationship between these averages, as the short-term average is positioned above the long-term average. In the event of downward corrections, there will be support from the levels at $84.63 and $71.94. A decline below either of these levels will trigger sell signals. A buy signal emerged from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, the 7th of August, 2024, and since then, the stock has risen by 128.94%. Further increases are anticipated until a new top pivot is established. Moreover, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence or MACD. The volume is increasing alongside the price, which is viewed as a favorable technical indicator. Here are some additional signals that may pique your interest. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a buy signal. Pivots show a buy signal from 60 days ago. Bollinger presents a buy signal recorded 11 days ago. The short-term moving average suggests a sell signal from 16 days ago. The long-term moving average indicates a buy signal from 37 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages signals a buy from 39 days ago. When examining the 12-month chart, we observe the short moving average indicated a buy signal 51 days ago. The long-term moving average shows a buy signal from 37 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages has a buy signal from 28 days ago. For more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Reddit There is no support from accumulated volume below today's level, and under the right conditions, the stock may perform poorly in the coming days. This stock exhibits average daily movements, and with adequate trading volume, the associated risk is deemed medium. Over the last day, the stock fluctuated by $14.09 between its high and low points, representing a change of 13.53%. Throughout the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 5.55%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for Reddit, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, we have the price-to-earnings ratio, commonly known as the P-E ratio. This important metric measures a company's current share price in relation to its earnings per share. A negative P.E. ratio indicates that the company is experiencing negative earnings or losing money. Even well-established companies can face downturns, often due to factors outside their control. However, a pattern of consistently negative P.E. ratios may suggest insufficient profitability and could indicate risks of bankruptcy. Now, let's delve into some potential day trading levels for Reddit. There is no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, 
indicating that the stock could move upwards swiftly if the right conditions arise. In this scenario, you may want to consider entering a position and using volume as a guide for when to exit. Conversely, there is no significant support from accumulated volume below. This suggests that the stock could potentially drop sharply under certain circumstances. It's advisable to proceed with caution and consider making trades only if you are an experienced trader who understands how to navigate such situations. The combined average rating for Reddit from multiple analyst sources is sell. Now let's examine some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were carried out by Slow Christopher Bryan, who bought and sold 39,728 shares or options in the company. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we've determined that the insider power is negative, with a ratio of negative 2.971. In total, insiders acquired 7,618,451 shares and divested 8,070,345 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $112.31, reflecting a decrease of 3.22%. This stock experiences medium daily movements, indicating a medium level of risk. The 14-day relative strength index stands at 89, which significantly heightens the risk. Additionally, a buy signal has emerged from a pivot bottom identified 59 days ago. Is Reddit stock a good buy? Reddit Inc. displays several positive signals. However, these indicators alone do not warrant a buy recommendation. At its current level, it should be viewed as a hold candidate or an opportunity to accumulate while awaiting further developments. Due to some minor weaknesses in the technical analysis, we have revised our evaluation for this stock from a strong buy to a hold or accumulate position since our last assessment. Upon reviewing the volatility and movements from the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, the 31st of October, we anticipate Reddit to open lower by $3.23, starting at $112.82. It is important to remember that trading carries a significant risk of financial loss. We strongly recommend consulting with a financial advisor before making any decisions to buy or sell securities. Your investment choices should not solely rely on the information provided by StockInvest.us. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know your target for the stock. Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.